she asked was, why is he here tonight? Um, he's in California on a trip. Okay, so he, he's physically not here. Is there another reason why? Um, the, whenever we invited him, he, um, he told me that, um, that he feels that it, he doesn't have any good feedback, that he's just crucified at these meetings and that no one wants to really hear what he has to say. Okay, so that's one thing, that's his Yeah, that's it, that. Don't have to worry about it. I think it's great that he's doing. I just, like, my concern is that it's great that he's doing that he doesn't seem like this. Uh, yeah, I heard the accountability because he had his hand up here on the floor. Oh, yeah. Yes, there's one thing that I'm going to think about, which is exactly a very popular idea, but it is part of the problem. The house list and people receiving services at Arlen or near Arlen receiving services from Great Hot Soup that are coming into these neighborhoods, there are also stakeholders in this, whether they own property or not, whether they're trying to do it or not. And I don't see anywhere on there where we're including them in the conversation, hearing what they need, what they can help to facilitate addressing some of these issues. And granted, not, that's not going to be a viable option for all of these people, but certainly there must be one of these stakeholders that can step forward and say, okay, I hear your concerns, let's walk through them. Because quite honestly, a lot of them will probably share some of these concerns as well. So I would like to see on the list involving all stakeholders, not just the church, not just Free Hot Soup, not just Steve, not just each of the neighborhood associations, not just community members, the House of are also community members. So you'd like, like to hear from them. I would like as to well. hear what these stakeholders have to say. And then see how they can help mitigate the issues. Now they could pull a union and they could because it, it was said earlier by Tom that this is a bargain between the neighborhood and these people receiving the services. How, how do we have this is a bargain between the neighborhood and Ottawa and Free Hot Soup and whatever other groups or community members might step forward to work on this? How could we honestly have a fair, good faith bargain if we're not talking to all the people involved? Because there are lots of different perspectives, a lot of different issues, and there's a lot of overlapping in these. Obviously some differences, but we need to focus on this overlap. And I don't think we can be successful. I, I don't think we can pat ourselves on the back and say, hey, we made a great list of all the problems that we have, and here's some ideas how to fix it, without involving the people that we're talking about. I don't think it's fair, I don't think it's law, I don't think it's ethical, but frankly, I don't think well, that we would, unless we yeah, have yeah, yeah. more yeah. problems yeah. address, yeah. we need to do that. That's all I have to say. Okay, so, okay, so I heard one of the issues out of the list is to include someone that could represent uh, the homeless population in this conversation. Okay, so that's what I heard. I, I know I'm going to ask because of time, I, I think we're probably past the meeting time. Yeah. Are there any lack? new thoughts and if I hear something repeated I will interrupt you and I ask for that permission to just interrupt you. Are there any new concerns that have not been addressed? Okay, Kathy did you want to wrap it up? Um I just I'm glad that we got all the, the information. I think um we I will work with Tara, we'll compile this and with did Catherine go? She had to go, she had to go. Okay. Um, and John, and then we will decide what we're gonna how we're gonna present all of this. Can we get this email to the people on the list? We can get that typed up, yes. I'll type it up exactly the way it's written. That's cool. how you will see it typed up. I uh, can even take pictures of it and email that. I'll email it to both presidents of the neighborhood association that were present tonight, and then I'll let them distribute it to all of the members. Okay, so, okay, Kathy, I'll turn it over to you. Thank you for having me Thank you. So then just a, another reminder for those who, if anyone is interested, that the next training is going to be at the Sanctuary Church on Saturday, this Saturday at 10 a.m. to 12, which is going to talk about what their mission is, what they're trying to accomplish, and what they need as a volunteer. Um, so, and then that one next one will be at Henry's Catholic Church on Tuesday, April 14th, from 6.30 to 8.30 for those who might want an evening. And then 
There's uh, April 16th at Trinity Lutheran in the evening at 6.30, and Saturday the 18th at East Hill mm -hmm. at, um, I have 6.30 to 8.30, so. Could you? I'm getting touch with you after the meeting. I'm just for the next week. I was reading on someone's thin, small little phone and little bitty. <laughs> I was going to bring up, um, I've, I've documented this whole thing. I'll put it on my uh, YouTube channel. Sure, if anyone if great. anyone wants a copy of it, I got my business card with my YouTube channel. That will help me with the minutes. Because <laughs> <laughs> my memory is We wanted to thank you all for coming. I think we have a concern that maybe some of us don't want to be on YouTube. Yeah. And I don't remember anybody asking permission to record me or my voice or anything else. Uh, so is that your concern also? Yeah. Okay. So if you if you wouldn't mind if you can do some editing there, I don't I don't want to be a star of YouTube. Thank you very much.